Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video, I'm going to configure static routing and default routing. And as you can see, I already have my network topology built in GNS3. Well, I don't have it completely built. I still have to do the IP addressing. Uh, as you can see, I have um, I have loopback interfaces that I will create on the customer routers. And these loopback interfaces will basically are used to simulate uh, customer networks off of those routers. Basically, I can simulate traffic and check that via GNS3. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go into the routers and start configuring them. Uh, I've already configured the names and everything. So I'm going to go into customer 2 router first show you what we're looking at here. Customer 2 router. Looks like we have uh, serial 00, zero that's connected to the ISP2 right here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, configure that serial interface with the IP address shown in the diagram. I'm going to give it the 2.2 give it the slash 30 mask. Also what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go in straight to the loopback 20 and the reason I call it loopback 20 uh, for this interface, uh, why I use loopback, uh, interface loopback 20 is because I have a 20 network here that I'm working with so to make it a little easier to, to follow. Go ahead and put the IP address shown. 192.168.20.1. Make that a slash 24. Make sure I can ping that. Okay. Next, I'm going to go ahead and uh, save that. ISP router, ISP2. And I'm going to uh, configure ISP2 now. As you can see from the topology summary on the right hand side of GNS3, uh, interface serial Zero, one is connected to customer two, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, figure the correct IP address for that interface. Two dot one. And then I'm going to go ahead and configure the, the interface that points to my, my I, other ISP connection. Uh, ISP1, so I'm going to, that is interface serial 0, 0. like I got the IP addressing done on ISP2. Now I'm going to try to ping uh, customer 2 router, see if I have layer 3 reachability. So I'm pinging the dot 2 over here, customer 2. And it looks like I'm good. So I'm going to hop on to ISP number 1 and configure this router. As you can see here, uh, serial 00 is my link to ISP2, so I'm going to go ahead on there first. And 
as you can also see up here it shows serial zero one is my link to customer one. I'll go ahead and uh, configure that interface next. IP. By the way, I've already no shut all of the ports, so all the links are up already. In case you were wondering. Again, 192.168.1.2, that's the ISP ones uh, link to customer one. That's what I'm configuring right now. Now, since I've already configured ISP2, I'm going to try to ping this link between ISP1 and 2, and it should work if I have layer 3 reachability. Okay, looks like we're good. So the last thing we need to do is uh, configure customer 1 router. If I do a show interface description, like that my serial 00, zero interface is connected is my link to ISP1. So I'm going to go ahead and configure that interface. Okay, now I already configured ISP number one. And I've configured all the routers now, so I should be able to ping from customer one to ISP one. And we're good. So next thing I do, ah, I forgot to, I'm going to create my, uh, almost forgot to create my loopback 10 interface here on customer one router. So I'm going to go ahead and create that interface real fast. Go ahead and ping that interface to make sure I have reachability. Okay, so we look good. Now if I go ahead and look at my routing table on customer one, all I have is two routes. I have a route to my loopback interface that I created and I got a route to the ISP one. So, let's go ahead and jump on to ISP number one and do a show IP route here. Again, this is the routing table and this shows me how these routes get put into the routing table for the router. Um, you can see C is connected, uh, S static, and so on with all your other uh, routing protocols. We're ma basically just going to be using static for this presentation. 